Today we're going to discuss core stability exercises to protect the spine and to limit lower back pain and injury. Dr. Stuart McGill has done extensive research on lower back pain. He's also been a pioneer for movement in general. If you want to learn more about him, I'll put a link down below. And these are the exercises that he recommends. So most of you guys are familiar with the sit-up or the crunch. That's not what we're going to do. This is to create stability for the core on your back. You're going to straighten one leg, bend the other leg. It doesn't matter unless you have pain on one of the sides. So you're gonna take your hand and place it underneath your lower back. With a neutral spine, we're going to just feel underneath the low back to see if you're using your back muscles at any time. And if you are, you're gonna reset this exercise. With the other hand on the floor, you're going to curl your head up and off of the ground. And you're just going to hold that for 10 seconds. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and coming back down. You want to make sure that you're not using your back extensors um, or the muscles that you're palpating underneath your hand at all. Okay, you want to relax them and you're just using your core, mu all of your core muscles to keep your head up. If you're feeling any kind of neck pain with this exercise, then I want you to just tuck the chin in and bring the head up. Practice this for five repetitions. You're going to take a break in between each of them for a couple of seconds. And then you're going to setting order of three repetitions, taking a rest for a couple of seconds, and then one repetition on each side. So I'm going to put that up here in the video. The next exercise is the side plank. There are a couple of things I want to point out when we do them and a couple of cues that I want you to remember. Have your elbow on the floor underneath the shoulder. You're not going to sink your shoulder into the ground. You're going to push away so you have nice shoulder stability. And then you're going to either stagger your feet or you're going to stack your feet on top of each other. You can put your hand down here to help you get up if you need to or your hand on your hip. And you're just going to lift your hips up to the sky. And you make sure your spine is nice and straight. And then you want to keep that top hip um, roll towards the floor just to protect the low back, okay? Hold this for 30 seconds, up to 30 seconds, if you can. And repeat three times. Verification for this would be to stack your knees over one another and coming up, still keeping that top hip towards the floor, or you can straighten that top leg and keep the bottom leg bent and coming up. Next is going to be the bird dog. So you're going to be in tabletop position. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips, okay? And then you're keeping your shoulders strong by pushing away from the ground and your back is nice and neutral. You're going to lift one arm and the opposite leg to straighten. And as you do this, you're pushing into your hand and knee of the opposite leg and arm. As you're coming in, you're being careful, making sure not to arch around the back, keeping it nice and slow. Even on that switch, you wanna make sure that the back is neutral. So you wanna think of the entire exercise coming out, coming in and switching as the core stability exercise. You're gonna hold it at the top for three seconds, coming back down. One, two, three, coming back down. I want you to repeat that 10 times. Another note to make with the bird dog is that when your arm and leg are up, I want you to engage the glute and the shoulder. Same thing with the other side. Engaging the shoulder, engaging the glute, and coming down.